What's going on you guys? I am the Crow, and today I'm bringing you a new variant of Dark Magician. Uh, yes, I haven't made my return. I've been away for a while due to personal reasons. I also had to move yeah, because of those personal reasons. So that's why it took me so long. And uh, it's just been a rough uh, few months. But I'm back, and this is a new version of Dark Magician I started playing. Uh, it's no longer pure in this one. So bear with me. I know the purists out there, they want pure, but this is a hybrid deck. And you're about to see what deck I kind of fused it with. So, uh, yes, I love this variant. It does consistently make uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, as well as uh, just being a Dark Magician deck, you know. But to get started in the deck profile, we have three Dark Magicians. Obviously, the namesake of the deck, the deck revolves around it. The whole point of the deck is to get this card out of the field, in your hand, in the grave, wherever, as long as it's, uh, as long as it's out of the deck. Basically. Alright, so we have that. Next, we have the next few monsters, which is Raz Black Dragon and Dark Magician Girl. Obviously, the two, Raz Black Dragon for the Dragoon, and just a dragon to go, go into other fusions, possibly, that require dragons, uh, because it's, Raz Black Dragon, you kind of need him for Dragoon. Dark Magician Girl, just another name to send off of Magician Souls. And uh, you only need one of her uh, to get a draw two. It doesn't really matter if you have her or not, but it's just, it's there for, to be honest, Dark Magician Girl's just there. That's all she is. Up next, we do have Triple Apprentice Illusion Magician. Uh, some people play her at two, some play, people play her at one, or not even run her at all. And I want three because you kind of want to consistently see Dark Magician as much as possible, especially when it comes to trying to fuse into the Dragoon uh, or any of the fusions because you kind of want to fuse into the fusions as much as possible because uh, that's how you get your Dark Magician plays consistent is when you go into the fusions. But yeah, uh, on top of that, uh, she can discard a card, special summon herself. And anytime she summons, uh, she searches Dark Magician to your hand. She is a pseudo honest hand trap where she can tribute herself off the field or send herself from the hand to the graveyard during battle to give a Dark Spellcaster 2000 attack, which is very nice. It can basically beat over anything. Up next, we have Triple Magician's Rod, obviously the best normal summon in the deck, the only normal summon you really care for. It's the only normal summon in this deck right now, but you know, for uh, the as good as this is, it searches out all your Dark Vision spells and traps. And if it's not not really needed, but if it's in the graveyard, you can activate a spell or trap on your opponent's turn. You can tribute a spell caster and uh, add this guy back to your hand, so you can add any spell and trap you want to the hand. So the, the recursive ability is really nice because you can just tribute a spell caster, bring it back, and be able to search out another card in the, the following turn. So that's always very, very good to do. So, uh, the only normal summon we play. Up next, we do have Magician's Souls. Uh, obviously, you want to send a Spellcaster off to Special Summon him, or even Special Summon that Spellcaster that you sent. Or it's like Special Summon Dark Vision, Dark Vision Girl from the Graveyard. It doesn't really have to be that Spellcaster. Uh, but it is for cost to send a card to the Graveyard to Special Summon it. So... No matter what your opponent can't really stop you sending a monster to the graveyard. And it's also the reason why this card is an $80 price point. Because in a side set that doesn't have very many ultras, it's a very limited card. It's still the like most expensive card I think Dark Ambitions have. So it's very nice to have. You kind of do want it. It's very needed. So we do play that. And be able to send spells and traps from your hand or field to the graveyard or draw two cards is also very nice. So it actually kind of works for some of the cards that are in this deck. They're actually the hybrid of this deck. It really helps with that. Be able to send spells and traps from fee from field or hand to the graveyard to draw two cards. When the cards that you send to the graveyard get effects when you go to the, like in the graveyard during in phase, kind of gives a hint there. So I don't know why I made the hint because up next, we do have the hybrid deck that you're about to see is going to blow your mind. And to be honest, these two decks are very, very similar in what they do. It's just this deck does it more consistently than Dark Magician. So that's why this is 
uh, but they both do the same thing, which is really weird because they really synergize so well because you play souls and everything. We do play double Eldritch the Golden Lord. I know, this is weird to see, I know. Eldritch the Golden Lord, uh, hello expensive deck, right? <laughs> so obviously you wanna get Eldritch the Golden Lord off of Scarlet Sanguine, or if he's in your hand, you can send a himself and a Speller Trap from your hand to the graveyard to send a card on the field to the graveyard. And then if it's in the graveyard, you can send a spell trap that you control to the graveyard to bring him back to the hand. Then special summon any zombie monster to the field. It gains a thousand attack. And only that, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So, uh, very good card to have. Uh, very helps with the summoning abilities and be able to send spells and traps to the graveyard that you kind of get cluttered up with. That, you know, spells and traps that break your hand. Very good. Um, so in that case, we do play the triple cursed Eldland, obviously to search into the hand if you really need to. Plus it's a continuous spell, so it stays on the field. You can send it to the graveyard off of uh, Eldritch here to bring him back to the hand and also be able to send a card from the deck to the graveyard when it's sent from the field to the graveyard. All you have to do is pay 100 life points to bring Eldritch to your hand. So uh, you can't declare attacks except for zombie monsters, which is fine. You can only use each of the following effects of Curse Eldland once per turn. So it's a hard once per turn, and you can only attack with zombie monsters, but you're, you're most likely gonna get rid of this card. Uh, very good card to have for Eldritch. So, there's this. Up next for the spells, he has the Dark Vision spells. We obviously play Triple Dark Magical Circle. The uh, card that makes you look at the top three cards is a Pod Duality in a sense. You can add any Dark Vision or spell trap that lists Dark Vision in its text from to your hand. And then put the other cards on top of the deck any order you choose. I mean, if, at least if you don't grab anything, you also put them in order. That way, if you draw it, you can draw into them, like, the good cards that you need. So, I mean, but you probably play three of this because this is your consistency Dark Magician card that you want. Um, also, it's the fact that you can, uh, when you summon a Dark Magician to the field, by any means necessary, you can banish a card you put inside of the field, hard once per turn. So, always remember, it's a hard once per turn, but very, very powerful card indeed for Dark Vision. Up next, we play Triple Soul Servant, the best consistency card to Dark Vision is because uh, you can stack any card you want on top of the deck that's Dark Vision or Dark Vision Girl or anything that specifically lists them. And like that, uh, you can draw, like you can banish this from the graveyard. Keep in mind, this is a quick play spell, so you did place it on top of the deck. You can chain react to uh, circle. You can chain react to circle to stack whatever you want on top of the deck and then grab that card off the circle. Uh, although, keep in mind, it has to be a spell and trap. I mean, I've done that a couple times where I chained it to it. Or sometimes, you know, you want to grab soul circle and put it on top of the deck for, off of soul servant and then banish to draw the circle that you just put on top of the deck. It The, the deck, so, circle and servant are a really good combo. With each other they help each other so much um but yeah you can banish this card from the graveyard to draw two cards well because you have dark vision dark vision girl uh we don't play play of oracle monsters so we don't get a draw three or draw four they only play dark vision dark vision girl so you only worry about draw two or draw one so but it really helps in consistency uh secrets of dark magic i have Tamias. these are all the fusion spells Red Eyes Fusion, obviously to send off Verte and Magical Eyes Fusion because you can send this also Verte to banish the Dark Vision and Red Eyes from your graveyard to bring out a second Dragoon. And that's always good to do. There's also Secrets Dark Magic because it's searchable off of uh, all the Dark Vision cards. Uh, <clears throat> other than that, this is the only searchable card in Dark Visions. The other, these ones aren't, well, these are searchable off of Verte. This is not searchable whatsoever, which is sad. It should be. It, I hate that it isn't, but it's whatever. I know some people don't even play Eye of Tamias. I just, I want it because sometimes you do need that. Uh, if you have nothing but Dark Bridge on the board and you have Eye of Tamias, and you just drop it down to go into Dragoons, that way at least you have uh, Dragoon on the board. It comes up sometimes. So uh, it's a very a nice utility card, I should say, to have. So that's it for the spells. Now we go into the traps and we have double eternal soul. Double eternal soul is the heart and soul of the deck, but it's also 
the Dark Visions live and die by this card because it's a continuous chapel, obviously. You play it, all your Dark Vision, any card is named Dark Vision, specifically, um, is unaffected by all your opponent's card effects. Also, uh, you can, once per turn, uh, special summon Dark Vision from your hand or graveyard, or you can add Thousand Knives or Dark Magic Attack from your deck to your hand, which not, doesn't really matter. It's just, you don't play Dark Magic Attack. It's, all, it's in the side deck for, for, well, for right now. Um, you only need two because you can, again, you can search this off of the Soul Servant, stack it on top of deck. You can search this off of Soul Servant, stack it on top of deck and draw into it. Or even you can grab it from the graveyard. That's right. Also, yeah, Soul Servant also grabs from the graveyard. I forgot to mention that. Um, yeah, you can grab Soul and put it on top of deck from the graveyard. So if someone destroys it, you at least have a way to bring it back. So that's that. But uh, Eternal Soul is one of those things where if it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, it really hurts because it will destroy your whole board, which thankfully is not much of a problem because you actually have a lot of cards that um, can't be destroyed by card effects, like Dra Dragoon right here, you know? He can't be destroyed by card effects, so it actually kind of helps you in the long run playing the cards and... So at least you'll have to keep something on the board after your Soul dies. So that's a good way that Dark Konami has actually made this deck a little bit more viable. Um, Eldritch or Scarlet Sanguine, the Eldritch card, uh, obviously to bring back, bring out Eldritch from the graveyard or deck, which I don't know why it's not from the hand, but uh, uh, you can also banish this card from the graveyard to, it has to be during your turn. You banish this card from the graveyard to set a Golden Land Spell Trap, which is going to be either Hoquera or Conquistador. So, <clears throat> that's mainly it. It's the card that brings up Eldritch. And next, we do play the standard Triple Conquist and Triple Hoquero for the final lineup of the main deck. Obviously, Conquistador, uh, they all have the same effect. Is if you, you can flip it up and summon them as a monster, and if you have Eldritch, you can uh, so, like do uh, certain abilities. Conquistador uh, will destroy a card. Huacuero can uh, banish a card from either graveyard or field. So <clears throat> the, that's uh, yeah, that's what they do. And then when they're in a graveyard during the end phase, you can banish them to set a uh, Eldixir card directly from the deck. So these guys really search out each other so much. That's why it's so consistent. That's it for the main deck. On to the extra deck. We have double Raz Dark Dragoon for the fusions, obviously, because you send off a Verte and get these guys out. Then we do play the one Dark Vision of Dragonite just in case we need to protect our back row. And uh, when he comes out to the field, if you have a soul on the field, you can't, uh, your opponent can't really do anything to them because. Your back row is protected from being targeted or destroyed. And uh, Eternal Soul will protect him because his name does become Dark Vision when he hits the field. So very, very good card. Um, if you're in those clutch situations where you kind of need to uh, have this monster on the board, he's at 3,000 attack, which is just, it's a good stat line. Then we have the Dark Magicians uh, for the draw power, essentially fusion monster. If you have two spell casts, like if you have Dark Vision or Dark Vision Girl and two spell casters in... You, you can fuse in to Dark Magicians, and uh, anytime you play a spell or trap, you can immediately draw a card, and if it's a spell or trap, immediately set it. But if it's a trap or quick play spell, you can activate it the turn it was set, which really helps that out, because you can draw into Eternal Soul on your first turn, set Eternal Soul, then immediately activate it to bring Dark, Dark Vision back from the graveyard, which is amazing. But if uh, he does die, it has to be destroyed by battle or card effect. If this card is destroyed, you can uh, special summon Dark Vision or Dark Vision Girl directly from anywhere, hand, deck, or graveyard. So, very good card. Obviously, we all know what Dragoon does, but in just case he didn't, he uh, if he uses two normal monsters to be fused into, let's say, Raz, well, obviously, it's going to be Raz and, Raz and Dark Vision, you can destroy two cards on, the f on your opponent's side of the field. And if they're, like, destroy two monsters, I think it is. Let me very quick. 
you have destroyed one monster your opponent controls, then you can burn your opponent for the uh, damage of the attack. Also, the other effect is uh, obviously you can't be destroyed by battle. You can't be destroyed by card effects and can't be targeted. Also, um, when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can discard a card out of your hand to negate the effect. And that's a soft once per turn, so you can do it twice. Yes, soft once per turn. Uh, they're both soft once per turn, which is really good. I, I like that. Both effects are soft once per turn, so you can do it. You can pop two cards with him, pop two monsters with him, and like then have two negates. So, but yeah, uh, discard a card, negate the card, and destroy it. Also, you he gains a thousand attack permanently. So the first time you do it, he'll immediately be four thousand attack. So very very good, and it won't drop whatsoever. It's a permanent uh, stat boost. Very good card to have. Up next. We do play the Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus Sky Thunder because sometimes uh, you can use them and uh, to put more pressure on the opponent. Also, another card to put some pressure on the opponent is Dengirsu because it grants you protection from all your cards from being destroyed. If they would be destroyed, you just detach material from them. Uh, condition not a, it's not an effect trigger; it is a condition, so they can't really do anything to stop that. They have to preemptively. Uh, negate him in order to stop that ability, which is also good. Plus, you play a lot of quite a few level eights and diffusions and whatnot, so it kind of works. You can overlay into him. Dark Divine Arsenal uh, Double A Zeus is just so good. Be able to send everything on the on the board to the grave. <laughs> yeah, because it, as a quick effect, that's great. Um, Red Eyes Flare Metal, obviously. To and what's cool is that we can actually use his effect. So here's the thing. He can't be destroyed by card effects when he has excess material, which is just fine. That doesn't really matter. At least he's protected. Uh, also, we everyone knows his burn effect. He burns 500 damage. Five, burns your opponent for 500 every time they activate a card effect. Card or effect. So, no matter what, they're being burned every time they play a card. But we can actually use his other ability, the one that no one really plays in Dark Visions. But, they, but since we do play Red Eyes Black Dragon, we can bring Red Eyes Black Dragon back from the graveyard with his ability, and it's a, a quick effect, which is crazy. Think about that. It's a quick effect on your opponent's turn. So if you have a Dark Vision and you really need to use Red Eyes, like, you really need a Dragoon, you can just detach material as a quick play, a quick effect, bring back Red Eyes, and then flip over, like, a fusion spell to go into, you know, Dragoon. So that's, it's a really nice ability there, too. But, uh, yeah. That's what he's for. He's kind of like there to burn. Also kind of helps with consistency. So he's actually useful in this deck. Then we have Avon Illusion Magician. Avon Illusion Magician. We all know uh, everyone's played him in the deck for quite a while. Uh, two level sevens, obviously. Detached material from a special summon a Dark Magician from hand or deck. Which makes up for what um, Eternal Soul can't do. Can't Eternal Soul can't bring it back. Bring him out of the deck. Eternal Soul can only bring him from the graveyard. He brings him from the deck, which is kind of like he's like an eternal soul and he's also circle on legs because the second ability is you can uh if your spellcaster type normal monster attacks he can just banish a card on your opponent's side of the field so that's why he's kind of like circle he can also banish a card but like if you attack with him you can also just afterwards overlay it to buy an arsenal zeus to be able to Put pressure on the opponent, which is amazing. That's it for the Xyz monsters. Now it's time to move on to Link monsters. All right, and we have quite a few. We have obviously Access Code Talker. Uh, it's very good because um, obviously he pops cards, uh, he gains attack. Everyone knows we did. He's a good OTK. Uh, Opelousa for uh, monster negates. Celine uh, to be able to revive back a spellcaster and kind of go rank. Link up into your Link Fours. Uh, IP Masquerade, obviously, for the uh, protection ability that she gives off whenever someone uses her as material. Uh, I'm thinking about cutting this. I never use it. Uh, Cross Sheep is just, it's all right. If you do use a Fusion Summon, you also play Xyz too. So, I mean, your opponent will lose like 700 tech. Or all monsters you control gain. No. Yeah, all monsters your opponent controls lose 7 attack, which is cool. It's a stat debuff to your opponent if you have an Xyz monster underneath him, but uh, mostly the fusion part is really nice because you can re 
reborn back any monster from your graveyard that's a level four or lower, which is only souls and sir and uh, souls and rod. But other than that, uh, I can really cut him. You can kind of cut him a little bit. I I might do it and try to find something else to play. But we also have the main boy, which is Verte, obviously to go into Dragoon. And uh, obviously, you yeah, know, send Red Eyes Fusion from deck to grave to be able to send Red Eyes and Dark Vision to the graveyard itself after paying 2,000 life points, of course, to be able to fusion some Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Um, you can also use Magical Eyes Fusion if you need to. Any other fusion card would be great. Um, also, for the last Link monster, just because we need a Dragon Link, that's a generic uh, protector whelp, doesn't really do anything in this deck, it's just there for to be a dragon. And that would be it for the deck profile. Uh, the side deck I'm not going to really show because that's really subjective on what's in your area. I don't really find the need to try and give you a side deck. But uh, hopefully, side best for what's in your area and what's your lo like local area looking like, what's in the meta. Uh, always pay attention to that. But uh, for this profile, I thank you so much. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I can't say that enough. Also hit the notification bell. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.